Nate and Nathan Knight's car because he still owed his money. I think he owed him like $60. Our next project we're getting ready to work on, we've got some bottom land that didn't really grow anything. So we're gonna to try to turn it into a hay field for next year. Gotta plow it up, uh, probably roll it, get rid of all the rocks and plant it in ryegrass. We're hoping to get some good ryegrass haylage off of it in the spring. Um, we're working on our plow starting out, had a hydraulic hose busted. So we're about to redo a hydraulic hose. This is our hose right here that is leaking. It's got the ends on it we need. We've got a spare hose here, but it does not have the ends we need. So we're gonna take the ends off of the old hose and put them on this other hose. Watch your toes. Oof. You cut those things even just clean off. When you I'll show you a little closer what I'm talking about on the different ends. So the hose that we're gonna use has female on both ends. This is the hose, these are the ends we need. So we need one male end that'll go in our plow. And this is the coupler that hooks into the back of the tractor. There you go. So there is one of the fittings we need. That's what you see on the inside of a hydraulic hose. Got him. Do you remember which end of the hose that one goes on and which yeah. end that one goes on? This one goes on the left, this one goes on the right. Perfect. So, thanks to Papa, he has a hydraulic hose machine. He used to make some hoses for local people, loggers and stuff. So now we'll go down to his shop, cut our hose to length, and we'll get some crimps, crimp these on, show you how the, uh, how the machine works. It's a pretty simple process if you got the tools to do it. Come on in Papa's shop, I'll show you around. Don't get it dirty. So this is the stuff he acquired. He actually bought from a guy years and years ago. I was young, but a ton of fittings and ferrules and ends and a lot of specialty stuff, a lot of old Caterpillar stuff, a lot of old tractor equipment, the Komatsu stuff, big ends. Stuff you don't see a lot of. Uh, he pretty much still had a lot in stock. So hoses and everything. Here's his cramp machine. It's a Gates hose crimp machine with the dies uh, that you swap according to what ferrules you use and old cutoff saw. And that's basically all you need. There's not much to it, just a little setup. And the biggest thing was him keeping in stock what people needed around here. So as you can see, uh, it would it would take a pretty good inventory to have something that just anybody walk up with need. So. But anyway, for now using around the farm works really well. So. so this is my father, Steve. He's gonna show us how to fix a hose. Basically all I'm good at is tearing everything up and my dad can fix anything. So y'all listen to him, he knows what he's talking about because I promise you he's had to fix a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, but then we <laughs> have to fix what I fix too. <laughs> y'all come on. Let's go make a hose. You have to use different dyes for different to crimp uh, for the crimps on the on the hydraulic the ferrules. Uh, so you have different letters, right? Yeah, there's a certain letter for a certain size pipe. So in this you, case, we're hunting a, the letter L. Why are you hunting L? So I'm on that right there. What you? It doesn't say on the ferrule what you need, right? No. Uh, there's a listing on here that these are the old style ferrules and uh, it calls for a letter L to crimp that the correct crimp size on these uh, 
on these ferrules. So you si you find your size pipe and then see right there where it has letter L and then it'll tell you the pressure, the crimp pressure to set it on to crimp it at, correct? Right. So this is half of the crimp. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a letter L engraved right there on the top. So you set these dies and that's going to be the size that you need. We'll set these in and then we'll set our pressure reading up top of what to crimp it to. Right. Did you already so, change that one? Yeah. How did you know it was an L? The L is on the chart according to the size pipe. Okay. It's, uh, it, half inch pipe is, uh, I don't know where they they come up with the numbers, but 16 is equi equivalent to one inch. Eight is a half inch. And this is half inch pipe or eight uh, in their in their chart. And then what you do is you look up the eight and it's a steel uh, crimp. The ferrule itself is steel. So you look up the eight PC F1S, S is, is your steel. And the L then you go out I'm to the L, L is the, uh, the die. And then you go to, it'll tell you what your readout should be, which is 4.10. So we've got to turn this dial. There's a term here to adjust. And you, you adjust this, and this changes your pressure on crimping. Uh, it, it puts, it changes the pressure down to uh, 4 what, what it should be with this uh, AL die. In other words, you put too much pressure, you can break your crimp or ferrule, or too, if you don't put enough pressure, it's not going to hold on the hose, right? Right, right. You got to get all of it coordinated. And it's best to go underneath it and then bring it back up, and then that way you, you're, uh, you'll have a better crimp. get my guns from there yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> so you put it so what you do is you put it in your in your Crimp. your dies oh, yeah. then you drop this on top this is what pushes down on it but you also have to pull it down enough to where when you crimp it it'll move and it'll you don't move past it you got your setting right everything's ready so and you Explain to them when you press this button, it, it, you hold it down until it stops, correct? Right. You, you put it in there and you you mash it until the, Let me show them the, uh, the machine itself stops and it stops under pressure at that, that reading. Okay. All right. Here. All right, and that's it. And it'll automatically release. Now we need to get the length. Look at there. No part stores today. We're halfway there. <laughs> this is the get by farmer technique. Yeah. Right here. Probably save you about 150 200 dollars Probably so. That hair will never gonna know it. No. So, for instance, like Daddy has bought up a lot of these hoses at auctions and things like that. A local guy that had a shop, he bought just crates of hoses. Well, they may be odd lengths or as you see, have a different end than what we need. 
but my grandfather had this um, little hydraulic shop and so we still use it for sometimes on the weekend you can't get a hose made or like this a simple hose and you know save a couple hundred bucks and here you have it so thank you Papa. I don't know if that's cutting or burning through it, but it's working, isn't it? Yeah, I need to show that clay, though. Put your ferrule on first. Why do you do that? Put this on, and then, then you insert So you can fit. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, That stuff's golden. And it works. Oh. And we do it one more time. Still the same pressure, nothing's changed. Now they make a one piece, a totally different setup. Totally different setup, it all does it with one. So there we go. What was it Papa always said? Keep something seven years. Yeah. If you, use seven you'll years. use it within seven years. If you don't use it within seven years, you throw it away. But if we keep that, do you think that makes a hunt or a lover tighter? That's Lovern right there. That's Lovern? Yeah. Papa always said when the rubber left out, the hose was ready to blow, and he was right, wasn't he? There she is. Let's go fix some plows. Last thing to do, put the hose on. This is our plow. This is going to be uh, what we're going to use to get those bottoms ready. Got it started. Was there a secret like tongue holding that? You got to hold it to the left okay. quadrant. Is it just the left when you're, when you're hoses or both? Okay, you need a smaller adjustable. Oh, yeah, that's ball guy. See it? See it. All right, let's hook her up. <clears throat> got our hose on. Where's the tractor? Coming right up. Where's lunch? I'm about hungry. could either validate or screw up our whole video. Yeah. Look at there, boys. Nailed it. Old Papa shot came through, didn't it? Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Curtis. We appreciate the hose. On the greener pastures. We're heading to the bottoms, do some plowing. We'll have another video coming up showing us making this hay field. It's gonna be some good ryegrass. Y'all to be sure and check it out.
We get called the soggy bottom boys. Right. Hey, click that subscribe button. Give us some subscribers. We'll need a few more. Come on.